Right now, we're going to talk about locating your existing list of PCSOI. Uh, this is kind of the key. You want to take some time here, do a little research, pull these people together. And um, there's a couple different groups that we want. We want past clients and we want sphere of influence. So past clients and sphere of influence. Sphere of influence are your friends, family, coworkers, and associates. Past clients are anybody that you help buy or sell real estate. By the way, some agents I talk to, it also could include rent. Uh, rent, help them do a lease on a property, either as a landlord or as a tenant. Uh, that would qualify as well for past clients. Now, where can you find, let's start with past clients. Where you can you find them? Well, there are digital lists and there are physical lists, digital and physical. I'm actually going to go to physical first because it's what uh, old timers like me know. And that is an old file box with data. Uh, you may have that information. And if you do, you need to convert it into a digital format. You're going to want to enter it onto a spreadsheet. We're going to show you the spreadsheets here in a little bit. Uh, and you can have somebody, you can do it yourself. You can have your kids, grandkids, teen, or maybe even a parent help you out with this, uh, somebody that you trust to go through that box and help you get it entered. All right, so that's physical lists. And then you also have digital lists, people, uh, lists that are already in electronic format. So some ideas of where to look. You may have an old CRM that you use, uh, either that you currently use, or maybe a download that you had out of there or a backup that you had out of there, you can still open up. Uh, if you do, that's a great place to start. Uh, also cell phones, If you, when you're doing transactions, you're on the phone a lot, and if you're using your cell phone, they're probably in your contact list. So that's a great place to look for their contact information. Uh, you're looking, of course, for their name and their phone number. We're gonna go through all this later, but their name, their phone number, their address, uh, their email, uh, all kinds of information for contacting them and any information we have about them. Birthdays would be a, an example uh, that we also, if we see it, we're going to add it. But if we don't see it, that's okay. Just keep going. Uh, that's the other thing to remember is if you can get partial information, that's okay. That's a start. You can always fill in the gaps later. All right. Or you may need to use multiple sources here to fill in all the gaps. All right. So we got cell phone contact list is a great place to go. Email contact list or your, your email provider, whatever you're doing for email service, if you're maybe using, say, Gmail or Yahoo Mail or whatever you're using to send and receive email, uh, that's going to be a great place. You probably have a contact list in there, and you can reference and download that into an electronic file and upload it into a spreadsheet so that you can start working on it. Uh, also, closed files on your computer uh, and backup disks, right? So if you have the old settlement statements, that's a fantastic place because now you have names and you have addresses right there. Uh, to remind you, hey, this is somebody I helped in a transaction. If you can't think of those and you know there's some more out there, go to your closing entity, right? Who did the closing for you? It uh, depends on your state. Every state is different, uh, but you're looking for someone that's probably has the title of closer. I think that's pretty common. However, where that is or who that is is different. For instance, we have title companies here in Colorado. Other uh, states I know have attorneys. You may have something completely different. Whatever you're doing in your state, that's awesome. Find that closing entity. Go to them and say, hey, could you give me all the closings we've done in the past to how far back can you go? Can you? I just need to get the contact information for my clients. And oftentimes, they'll be able to pull a lot of information for you. Same with mortgage companies. Same idea. If you've sent a lot of buyers to the same loan officer or loan officers, go ask them to help you out with collecting this data and this information. So for me, if I was looking for buyers in my state, I'd go to my mortgage company and sellers, I'd go to my title company. Yours may be different though, because in some states, the buyer picks the title company and therefore you may have a list of buyers at your title company or closing entity. Just keep that in mind. There's these other vendors out there that can help you out to help you collect this list. All right, past clients, fantastic list. The most the critical key list for you, these people have already hired you. They already let, know, like, and trust you and hired you. And so they're most likely to do it again and refer you. So start with the past clients. Next, go to the sphere of influence. Again, your family, friends, coworkers, and associates, places that you can find their information to help you get the contact information and stimulate your mind for 
who they are, an old CRM that you've used or you're currently using, maybe an old download out of there, uh, uh, some kind of backup that you did out of there. Uh, next, you got the big one is the cell phone contact list. Oh, I'm glad I can highlight it. I should have done that earlier. Anyway, the cell phone contact list is a big one for most people because we basically work out of there. It's become a database for a lot of people. Their, their cell phone and that contact list in there is downloadable. Uh, you, we'll show you in a little bit that you, how to do that, but you can download a CSV file out of there and upload it into a spreadsheet. Uh, and if you've been focusing all your contacts in there, like most people, that's probably going to be the number one place to start for all these people is your cell phone and get that contact list. Again, we'll show you some references for that in, a, in the next section. Uh, email contact list, again, for your sphere, you may have that. Facebook friends, this has been a big one for people uh, that I've heard that if you're active in social media, Facebook or Instagram or wherever you are, if you have a friends list, uh, yeah, that may be a great place for you to go and look uh, to try to jog your memory of who is in your sphere. And also, I believe you can download uh, information out of Facebook into that CSV file to make it electronic and make it a faster transfer. The other things are a, a Christmas card list, either physical or digital weddings, baby shower lists. These are usually you're inviting friends and uh, family members and extended family members. These are pretty big lists. Uh, and, 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 you know, how many people does the average person invite to a wedding or baby shower? I think it was somewhere between 250 and 300 people. That means you know a lot more people than you think, <laughs> okay? So that's why you should look at those lists. You also have uh, coworkers. Uh, you probably worked with a lot of people in the past, either in a past job or if you're working at the same time you're doing real estate for whatever reason, those people that you're working with, uh, you may have a connection with them and they may use you. Uh, I just heard of a, a gal that did that. She's doing a part-time real estate and a full-time job, and she just helps somebody at her work buy a place. So those people on your roster are a great, great source. Do not forget about them. Don't drop them off. Bring them back in. Uh, again, a customer list. If you were at an old job and you had a, access to a customer list, for instance, if you were a salesperson, this is where I've heard this the most, you were a salesperson or a service person, let's say a big corporation, you were probably in touch with a lot of people. A lot of people know you, like you, trust you. Don't forget about those people. I've heard people have really huge, quick, explosive growth in their business by going back and getting those customer lists bringing them into their new world of real estate and reaching out to them and letting them know they can help them. All right, we've got uh, school rosters. So this is for you first and then your kids and grandkids second. But for you first, you know, talk about the folks you went to high school with, college or a trade school. Now flip it over that your kids, you are op you're often in touch with people through that school, usually the parents of the kids that are going to school with your kids, as an example, or grandkids, if you're involved in the PTA, people you've been meeting there, or the teachers, uh, et cetera. You know a lot of people through a uh, school system if you uh, that you went to or you have kids that may be attending. So don't forget about that. Next, organizational rosters. So these are churches, hobbies, sports, social activities, uh, charities, volunteering, et cetera. Uh, there's probably some kind of roster there, or at least it's going to stimulate your mind to think about people in those groups that you know and would like to reach out to and do business with. And last one is neighbors. Uh, add your neighbors, the people right around you. They know you, right? They must see you each day <laughs> or at least once a week or something. Add them. They know you and they own a house. If you own a house and you're living there or if you're in a, a rental, great. They, own, they rent and maybe they want to buy. So you got the neighbors right around you. Be sure to reach out, add them to your list. If you have any kind of relationship with them uh, and you can recognize each other, then they should be on this list as well. And as far as a roster, you can look at the HOA or a community roster. So hopefully that stimulated your mind and got you some ideas of where you can locate your existing list of PCSOI or past clients and sphere of influence.